Hello. Selamat sejahtera. Sorry Kak. We are Biocap. I am Nurul Kaidia. I am Nada Salma. I am Nurul Fazlika Shahira. And we are from University Technology Mara, Malaysia. The Department of Environment DOE is investigating an oil spill at Pantai Cermin Batu 10 near Port Dickson, which has polluted about 3 kilometers of the coast. State Health Environment Cooperatives and Consumerism Committee Chairman S. Virapan said oil samples have been taken and will be sent to the Department of Chemistry to determine the cause of the spill. He said cleanup work is being conducted and advised members of the public not to visit the beach until the process is completed. The developing of oil industry in Malaysia had caused the increasing of oil spill that turned to oil and water pollution if the problem is not overcome immediately. This factor can affect our environment in Malaysia. Hence, a study was carried out to, uh, to improve our tropical coastal, such as mangrove tree, through the uses of natural resources such as biocap. Biocap is a hybrid biofilter that can be used as an organic absorbent filter to remove the oil spill in the water. The biocap was designed as a biofilter that consists of treated couple. The biocap itself uh, demonstrates high oil uptake, good reusability and extractability towards the oil waste such as vegetable oil, diesel, uh, lubricant oil, silicon oil and many more. So what is the problem? Water pollution is getting a huge attention due to its massive spreading of oil spill that causes the destruction of the environment itself. So this study was carried out to produce a new and inexpensive green products to clean up the oil spill at the mangrove area in the safest way. A natural sorbent was created by using chemical modified kapot to overcome the oil spillage in the mangrove area. Kapot that chemically modified has a high market value in the ecotourism in improving the sustainability progress in the oil spillage cleanser technology. The biocap can be obtained from the kapur tree. The raw kapur are dry, light, fluffy and yellowish in colour. The kapur that we use in these experiments are treated kapur. Both of them are used to compare the rate of oil absorption. The treated kapur is treated by using sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. And then the sample was filtered and washed to remove any other constituent. The kapur is ready to use when it is completely dry. Different types of oils are used to determine the rate of oil absorption. As you can see here, this is our biocap and this is our oil waste. Now we will pour the oil waste into the beaker and then we will put the treated biocap into the beaker to absorb the oil. And ta-da! Now you can see that the biocap absorbed the oil inside the beaker. From the graph, it illustrates that the percentage of oil absorption by kapuk for diesel and cooking oil had the highest while black oil is the lowest. Last but not least, from the experiment result, it can be seen that it can absorb until 6 trials, which the percentage of oil removal are still above 50%. Nowadays, a lot of industries are using synthetic sorbent as their oil absorbent. As you know, synthetic sorbent is very expensive and releases harmful fumes to our environment. Therefore, we come up with an idea to produce biocap, which is very cheap and can help to save our environment.